sweetheart, baby. Oh, no, don't start anything. Oh, wait. Try to remember where anything. you are and who you are. Who am I? I mean, you, I don't even know who I am. You're going to tell me who I am, sir. Fern, all you're drunk and disorderly. Oh, now that's bright. Now that's why you're an instructor. Fern, all this is an order. Oh, no, no, no. Don't order me, sweetheart. Don't touch me. Now, you, 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 you gave me my last order today. <laughs> You busted me out, sweetheart. Get your hand off. You know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to bust you out. I was just kidding in there, man. <clears throat> uh, General, uh, sir, I was just kidding in there. Well, General, I think we found our man. Most men would have ended in the hospital. What's a pitch? Huh? I said, what's a pitch? Oh, it's quite simple. We can't have our men staggering around the casbah, blind drunk. It dangers the whole operation. Oh, man, knock it off, Jack. I'm quite serious. Allied intelligence would have been in a pretty mess if you landed in jail or in hospital. How can we explain you? You don't exist. None of us do. We're not even in North Africa. <laughs> well, then why bother about it, then? Now, whiskey or coffee when you're ready. I'd advise coffee. Look. You guys wrote me a letter yesterday, you know? Busting me out of this outfit. I don't feel any responsibility to you. You told me that I was generally irresponsible and that uh, I took unnecessary risks. Oh, and the great one was that I'm uh, destroying government property. Doubtful moral character, headstrong individuality. To which we can now add violation of security regulations in a public place, off limits. Assaulting of an uncommissioned officer. You know something? I don't dig you. Colonel! You're quite a paradox yourself. Washing out apparently means a great deal to you. I'll take it it's whiskey, then. I'll take it if it's whiskey. Sorry, there's no ice. <clears throat> yeah, frankly, Fano, espionage never seemed your cup of tea. Why did you volunteer? <laughs> See, a guy has a rifle, you know, and he gets a couple of jokers. He gets those. There's a guy in a plane. He gets 50 guys, right? See, but I don't have enough schooling to fly, right? You know, your outfit looked good to me because, like, I figured I could get, just get more of them before they got me. That's it. I see. Do you? No, you're probably right. Sit down. You want to know something, man? Like, I don't get any of this. 
I don't get the stiff upper lip, don't you understand? I don't get tea on the lawn, and I don't get... Yeah. And cricket! They'll always be in England, huh? I mean, what is that? What is that to remind you what you're fighting for? What are you fighting for, Fanno? You want to know because my old man broke his back on a dock in San Francisco, and you know what for? Because they threw him his piece of bread, and my old lady, my old lady died having children. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, I was doing what I wanted to do, and there wasn't any guy with any mustache telling me what to do, see? Because the second that the guy with the mustache comes along, tells me what to do, forget it. I don't make it anymore. Look, nobody's busting me out of this war. It's not happening in my lifetime. Nobody's busting me out of the war. You're not washed out yet, you know. That letter you received was a notification of a hearing. Oh, right, sure, yeah. Uh, I read it. I mean, uh, I mean, if you have anything to say in your defense, like there'll be a copy of this in Allied Intelligence, well, it's not going to matter because... Because you can bounce me, because I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in free France. I'm going to be in the underground. I'm going to be in this fight. Don't you understand? I've never trusted martyrs, especially martyrs who flex their muscles. Listen, Fano. We're screening several men. One of them could be you. Now, it could be the most important mission any of us have seen during the entire war. Your particular qualifications might be what we need. I'm not at liberty to discuss its nature. But when the assignment is made, only two men will know. The man chosen, and myself. Now, for now, I recommend you retire and get some sleep. The tests will be demanding, physically and emotionally. All right, report in the morning, without breakfast. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Torture chamber's ready. Awaiting your pleasure. For 48 hours, you've been subject to the most extensive tests to determine your responses, physical and emotional. Your capacities to function under the most extreme conditions. I may say you've done credit to your training. Now, a word of explanation concerning the mission for which you're being screened. One of you will be required to deliver a verbal message of such importance it cannot be committed to writing. We assume the message will be delivered. This test is therefore essentially precaution, based on the remote chance you fall into enemy hands. An individual's capability to resist torture is unpredictable, since it must realistically include the possibility of permanent disability or death. Today, we will attempt to simulate an extreme torture situation without physical damage. You'll be subjected to radical extremes of temperature, atmospheric pressure, light, supersonic vibration, etc. The nature of the test requires you be taken beyond the point of endurance. I merely caution you that in the interest of our mission, we may feel it advisable to continue the test at our own discretion after you feel it is intolerable. All right, we're ready. Open your eyes, please. Ox and sound. Air pressure, thirty five pounds. Take it down quickly. Fifteen.
reached the peak of tolerance. How do you feel? <laughs> Coffee? Phew. Man, you know you guys can really dish it out. Look, it'll be simpler if we try to get along. Because from now on, you won't be seeing anyone but me until I put you on the plane. What are you trying to tell me, Colonel? You're trying to tell me I got the job? It's your mission. All right. Thank you. Well, now you're awake, we'll get to work. Now, it's no secret the Allies will invade the soft underbelly of Europe. The whole world knows we must land somewhere in southern Europe. Only one thing remains secret, vital to both our friends and foes. The place and time of the invasion. Your job is to get this information to the chief of the French underground. His code name is Monsieur Blanc. The German high command is just as anxious to know as he is. Now, the rest is detail. You're familiar with the operation of this instrument? You'll find a suitable place to bury this the moment you've landed. And it'll be used once and once only to report the successful completion of your mission and receive my further instructions. Now, there are two identical instruments. I'll be waiting here for 72 hours until I hear from you. I have no other duties except to wait for your report. At the end of 72 hours, if we haven't heard from you, we must assume that the mission has been unsuccessful. Perhaps you can understand why we felt it necessary to expose you to such risks. I don't know if it helps to say this, but the actuality is never as dreadful as the test. The moment of truth is never as frightful as the doubt and indecision that preceded. You may not believe this, Colonel, but... Uh... I'm very hip to myself. I, I mean, like I know myself. Yes, yeah, so. well. Philosophy doesn't help, but this may. I'm going to give you a way out. One of the secret weapons that we've developed is a weapon against ourselves. <coughs> the K-tablet. It's effective within 10 seconds. Am I going to keep it in my tooth? They've discovered teeth. But while you were sleeping, we took the liberty of... Take that thing off. The tattoo serves a double purpose. It'll be your identification, but equally important, it conceals a skin graft. You may find it a little sensitive, but it'll be completely healed up at the time you've landed. The tablet's encased in beeswax. It doesn't require an instrument. Just one simple, natural movement. Bite it. Now, don't be afraid to use it. It's not cowardly. Now, if you feel up to it, I suggest you bathe and shave. Whenever you're ready, I'll brief you on details. You know, the other day, uh, I said a lot of flip things about uh, 
England and everything. I mean, about uh, tea and what are you fighting for and everything. Look, all I'm trying to tell you is that uh, I'm very envious. I mean, I wish someday I could have a scene like that myself. You know? Jennifer, I found the man. I will put him on a plane tonight and send him to whatever he faces. That he will risk his life is the least. I try not to think ahead. If I didn't have you to write to, I know I should go mad. For you are the only one who knows me well enough to judge the morality of this macabre game called war that I am part of. the one we've been waiting for. I called the soon as... Commendable. Sir. Is there somewhere to sit? Uh, I want the full detail. Oui, monsieur, oui, à mon bureau. Nim das runter. Dr. Tremor. That's right. Dr. Tremor. What are you waiting for? Thank you, Doctor. What's bothering you? I'm sick. I need a shot. I've got the price. Now sit down. Take off your jacket. Roll up your sleeve. What do you want? Uh, morphine. Mm -hmm. Who sent you? Oh, somebody in North Africa. And when you miss your block, I'll send word. Down on the coffin. Wait at my apartment. Five hundred francs. Sent word. He'll telephone. He's got a telephone. I'm a doctor. Calls are expected. Do you want me to go in the other room? It doesn't bother me. Why don't you make yourself a drink if you're uncomfortable? The human body tends to lose its fascination when you examine it day in, day out.
If you're hungry, there's food. I'm gonna have a whiskey, you want one? Yeah, baby, you do live well. You live very well. It'd be strange if I didn't, with all my connections. I used to feel guilty. Every bite of food seemed like treason. But we learned to live with anything, even our guilt. Now, I don't know what I'd do without my silk stockings. When's he going to call? Oh, when he can. When's that, an hour or two? You people, you're all the same. <laughs> you expect us to operate on your army timetable. At 0900, report to the latrine. Unfortunately, we live under the German high command and operate according to their time schedule. Look, baby, all I want to know is when he's coming here. He'll come when he can. It may take all night. Then he might be downstairs watching the house right now. But he might stay there all night to be sure you haven't led them to us. Yeah, well, that makes sense to me. If your business isn't important enough to wait for him, leave a message, I'll deliver it. Maybe it's important enough. What are your good neighbors going to think about uh, me spending the night here with you? They won't be shocked. Why, you often have French farm boys spending the night? I have men here very often. All kinds, including high Nazi officials. I supply them with narcotics. I supply their informers, too. So my activities are covered up by the Nazis themselves, which is how I'm able to operate as contact for men like you and do my work at the hospital. Well, that uh, answers my question, then. Does it? No. You were wondering about me as a woman. Yeah, that's right. I like sugar. You know something, you're a very attractive woman. I mean, what was that all about in there? What are you putting me on like that for? I'm not a doctor. I don't see bodies all day. I'm just a normal boy. Well, I'm sorry I got angry. Why? Uh, why should I pretend I don't know? I know. We've waited for you for... how long? And suddenly it's come. I used to think it'd be the most glorious moment. I tried to imagine what you'd be like. I knew you'd be strong. And that I'd make love to you. What? But I never imagined you so young. And now you're here. And I'm frightened. See, so much has happened. No, don't, don't, don't. Don't put on that light. Could I have that? Please. Yeah, whiskey doesn't help. Dead for a while. But then it stopped. And the nightmares. Give me a cigarette, I'll be fine. It's gonna be over soon. The men I've turned into dope addicts. For them, too. You're talking about German soldiers. Do you understand that? You're talking about informers. I took an oath! I don't care what you took! I took the sick. Well, now, what about them? When it's over, and, and they're not the enemy anymore. Only sick, wasted, defeated human beings. I mean, whoever wins, they're dead for the rest of their lives. Couldn't care less. Always oh, so righteous. So moral, so strong. We're saving humanity. And 
That's what the underground told me when they came to me. Feed their habits, he said. Do what you have to do. It's not just narcotics. The little experiments in medicine, I've done them. Operated. It'll never be over for the men without eyelids, Swift. Hey, baby, you're not just cool, huh? But France will thank you, he said. In my nightmare, I hid. They're pinning medals on me. Only I'm naked, and the medals are pinned to my flesh. Well, when will it be over? Tell me! The technical monsters who fight with teeth and claws and scalpel. For me! Don't touch me. I loathe you. And all the strong young men with tattoos on their arms. And the Germans and their informers. All of you! Of a drink. Oh. Uh. Uh. What's the matter? What time? Is it? How long did I sleep? You slept about an hour. Yeah. That's all I ever sleep. What's going on here? I mean, men are like whiskey to you. They put you to sleep. That's right. Look at yourself, you shaking doctor. You trembling. You flipping out of your skull. What do you want? Hey, who was that? Who was that that called? Huh? Who was it? Who was it? Zero seven breaking silence. Zero four to zero seven breaking silence. Man, like I can't get up there, you know. I can't reach the last step. Uh, very important. I repeat, very important. The next to last step is rotten. The one I got is rotten. Doc's a junkie. Doc's a junkie. I repeat, Doc's a junkie. Next to last step is rotten. You're reading. It. Hey, man, dig, do you hear me? What are my instructions? Hey, man. The mustaches are here, you know. I mean, they're here with the dogs, you understand? Now, what are my instructions? Look, baby. Like, they're here. They're coming. I can hear the dogs, see? Now, what are my instructions, man? Hey, give me something, will you? What are my instructions? Hey, what are you doing, playing chess?
I sit waiting for him to break silence and tell me the doctor is a collaborator. Thank God that's over now. I was right about Ferno. Others would take the K tablet before they were captured. He'll make a run for it. They will take him alive. <laughs> take him and he will hold out beyond human endurance. But when he breaks, and he will break, they will believe him. The German high command will believe a man who nearly dies before he talks. They will believe that the invasion will take place on March the 23rd at 0500 hours at Ventimiglia. They will believe what he tells them, because Ferno does not know it is false. <laughs> Forgive me, my gentle Jennifer. Try not to judge me by the morality of other times. War is immoral. Forever, your loving husband. You're no good, you're trying to make me. Why don't you let me? I'm an attractive woman, and you're a normal boy. Oh, no. You're no good rotten junkie. Junkie. Only one thing remains secret. The place and time of the invasion. Just one simple, natural movement. Bite. It's effective within 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Now, don't be afraid to use it. It's not cowardly. Well? He can hear us. The drug induces hallucinations, schizophrenia. Literally splits his personality. But he's quite conscious of us and where he is. And help me, help me, come in! It's all going out from under me. I'm not crying, I'm laughing! <laughs> oh, schizoid reaction. I better not see bad. The whole world's busting out. It's just... I'm talking to God. It's just me and him. How do you know it's God? Because he has the power of life and death. Does God have a name? What do you call him? I call him Colonel. What does God say? I call him. I call him. I know he's there, I know. But he, he's way across the water and he won't answer me. He's writing on a great stone slate. What is God right? A secret. A date. A great day that's coming. Read the slate. <laughs> <laughs> something to go on now. God, the colonel, the date. Give the drug a chance. He 
Er spricht Handler. Leutnant Gunther, bitte. Uh, your interest in research is admirable. My staff is less scientific, but more effective. Yeah? Uh, get him out of it. Lassen Sie sie reinkommen. Mit Apparat. Sit up, you're coming out of it. <clears throat> Don't play games. I know the drug. You can snap out of it any time you want. Oh, you fool. Do you know what they'll do to you? It would have been so easy if you'd acted like a human being and told me what I wanted to know. You couldn't even blame yourself if that's your problem. You were drugged. Who are you trying to impress? You failed. You were sent to deliver a message to the underground and you failed. Listen to me. Tell them what it is they want to know. It'll all be over in a minute. Take him to the dental clinic first. Make sure he has nothing concealed in his teeth. Uh, you'll wait. They may need you. General available, please. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. But I'm very anxious. Is there anything that I ought to know? I'd appreciate it, sir. The moment you know. Thank you. Lost consciousness again. How can he hold out? He kept repeating the power of life and death. Must be he knows he can end it when he wants to. When he has to. There. Richter has a migraine. More pain. There's codeine in the cupboard. Turn off that flame. I'm going to revive him with oxygen. These burns are too severe. The most effective technique devised. Break. Fail. Talk. Let the torch. I did. 
Library man. Let's sit down and have a cup of coffee, huh? Why can't I be alone? Well, certainly you can use my office. I can use your office. I don't want to use your office. What's wrong with right here? Randy. The place is full of spies. The office is bugged, this room is bugged, so be very careful what you say here. Just try to act natural. Hey, listen, I want to show you something I picked up while I've been here. This is wild. Watch this now. I don't really know how. There's a guy here that really... There's a guy Fano. here that really does this well. But I've only been doing it a month. Fano. Look, listen to me. No, you listen to me! I mean, what is it with you English guys? If it isn't cricket, you don't dig it? There's something you have to accept. The success of our operation shortened the war. Saved many lives. What's your shot? You're a hero. Do you understand that? I'm gonna take the shot for you, man. I'm gonna put that seven ball right in the side pocket. It's gotta go. Seven ball. You've had it. You are in there, baby. Turn up. Now listen to me, fellow. I am listening to you. What do you want, man? You did what you were supposed to do. You broke. You told them what they wanted to hear, and they believed you. You can't blame yourself. Whatever guilt or shame you feel, I share it. I sent you in. I betrayed you. I broke you. They can hear everything you say here. They can even read your lips, so just cool it. Excuse myself in all these weeks searching for you. I've prayed one prayer that I find you alive and sane. Man, I'm alive and sane. Of course you are. It's you I'm worried about. Take it easy now. Look, face this reality. It's the only chance either of us has to survive. Well, like, look, you know, I didn't talk to anybody. I mean, I never cracked. I mean, I'm Joe Ferno, baby, you know? Ferno, Ferno. I mean, they tried to use drugs on me. They tortured me. <laughs> now, you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to use a psyche bit on me, man. Forget it. Forget it. But this is an allied hospital. Oh, an allied hospital, huh? 
You see that guy over there in the white, the fat one? I want to tell you about him, man. He's the worst. <sighs> Boy, I'll tell you. There was only one person worse than he is. You know who that was? It was a French dame. And she was a junkie. Look, these are medical personnel in a U.S. Army hospital. Now, face reality. It's the only chance we have. The, the war's been over for months. What war? Look, Fano, without, without your forgiveness, your understanding, I've got to carry this the rest of my life. I got it. Your wife. The cool number, the one that, the one that, the one that served here in the lawn. I mean, There's she'll no understand you. Listen, different. you tell her, I mean, I know she's going to understand you. There's no one. She's dead. They've been, they've been dead for years. Killed in the Blitz in 1940, before I met you. All those letters I wrote. Look, Fano, say you understand that what I did was right, then. Look, Fano, I'm begging you. Just give me a sign. You want me to give you a sign, man? I'll give you a sign. My old man broke his back on a dock in San Francisco. My old lady died having children, man. I want to tell you about that because that... That was... Done. Somebody get this man out of here! Goodbye, Fano. About. Don't ask me. Top brass, some sort of heroes, I guess. Yeah? Nobody's gonna play with me. In a moment, scenes from our next espionage show. Thank you. 